be divided for Christ from the world. Be divided from the lies of this world for the truth of Christ. Be divided from sin, from impurity, for holiness. Be divided from hatred, malice, anger, bitterness, for love, compassion, and gentleness. Be divided from everything, as Paul says. Be divided from everything that causes you to stumble and sin. So that's a good division from the world. But at the same time, be united to Jesus Christ. And to be united with Christ is the greatest blessing, isn't it? And this is the only way to live, to be united in Christ. That's the only way to live as pilgrims in this world. And so for those who are truly in Christ, hear the words of the Apostle Paul in Romans 8, neither death nor life nor angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries for about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us, can divide us from God's love. No power in the sky above us nor in the earth below Indeed, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen? Nothing can divide you from the love of Christ, from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. When you're united in Christ, nothing can divide you from his love. Charles Spurgeon, some of you may know his name. He's known as the uh, Prince of Preachers, British preacher, great man in his day, commenting on this verse 43, that the, there was a division because of him. Uh, these are his words. He commented on this verse, and he said, and I quote, While Christ is the great cause of division, it is also true that he is the great means of union. There is nothing that welds men and women together as the love of Christ does. It is the most potent force in the universe for gathering together those, are, those who are scattered abroad and making them truly one. In Christ, nationalities are blended, he writes. Think of the division between Jew and Gentile. What can make them one but Christ, he writes. He breaks down, meaning Christ breaks down the middle wall of partition and unites us. Spurgeon writes, you know why we are a multi-ethnic community? Because there are no whites, no blacks, no browns, no races, no castes, no tribes. In Christ, together, we are in Christ. And that is the beautiful church of God, united in Christ. So Spurgeon writes further, as perhaps a last note about this verse, may there be more and more of this fellow feeling among believers. 